Hey everybody, I'm Dave Chaos, and today I have a very special delivery here. I've, I've not even opened this, I've just took the labels off, um, <clears throat> just so you don't get me address. <laughs> and this is from Blizzard. So if you don't know who Blizzard are, they're the guys who made World of Warcraft and, you know, Hearthstone and a few other popular games like, you know, Diablo 3 and all that sort of stuff. Um, and they've got a new game coming called Overwatch, which I was super excited about as soon as I saw it. Um, when they announced it at their convention and they also announced this as a pre-order item so I've actually been waiting for this thing for a, what, a long time months and months and months and it's finally here so let's bring it into view I don't know what to expect it's obviously big <laughs> uh, so let's just get it out and you'll see what it is I'm sure some of you will have a good idea already I mean it's in the title of the video of course um, but if you don't know anything about Overwatch, you should absolutely go and check it out. I'll put the links in the description. Uh, like I say, it's not even out yet. So I did jump the gun a bit by buying this on pre-order. <laughs> I hope to God that the game is good. But I, I like um, collector's editions of things. Um, and if those of you who've been on the channel for a, a long time will know that I bought the collector's edition of um, Bioshock Elizabeth. Um, when they brought that one out, there was only only a few. I think it was 500. They only made 500 in the world. Um, so I, I had to get one of them because Bioshock is one of my favourite favourite franchise games. So, uh, ooh, plenty of padding in here. I hope to Christ. I really hope that it's not damaged in any way. So, there we go. Let's, uh, let's tackle this box then. All right, so there was nothing else in that other box. So we're down to uh, one more box. So let's get our little X-Acto knife back and start popping this one open. And then I'm really quite excited about this. So, you know, like I say, um, obviously the game isn't out. It's not even in beta yet. Nobody's got access. So uh, I have jumped the gun quite a lot. And some of you may be thinking, why on earth have you bought an item like this? Which wasn't cheap, by the way. Um, well, the simple answer is, of course, I see it as a bit of an investment. So, in years to come, whether the game's a fail or not, this thing should be worth a little bit more than what I originally paid for it. Oh, there we go. The first sign of it being a Blizzard item. It's right there. Blizzard collectibles. Okay, let's turn this over. And it only... I mean, I was waiting months and months for it to come, but it only took it two days to actually get across the pond from the US to me. Let's get this uh, packaging off. And there we go. Overwatch Tracer, ages 15 plus. And of course it is uh, a stand-up model. So let me show you the box because there's some nice artwork on there. There's a nice little Tracer outline. And around the other side are some images of what it actually looks like. Oh, awesome. And then on the back, oh, we've got some stats about who Tracer is. Oh, I'm loving that they've got the uh, United Kingdom flag on there. Very cool. Cheers, love. <laughs> the cavalry's here. Awesome. Okay, so let's get it open. And I imagine there's probably minimal amount of construction in this. You may, I may have to just put her on her base or, or something, which is typical of, of these sort of things. So we've got a little something here. Let's have a look at what this is. Uh, fran fragile handle with care. Oh my God, it needs batteries. What? Batteries or I can plug it into the wall. Oh, no way. I had no idea that it, it, it needed batteries or it lights up or something. Oh man, now I'm even more excited. <laughs> and my plan was to have this on my desk. Um, maybe not now if it needs batteries, because uh, I want to have a plugged in, won't I? Right, I'm just going to have to free up a plug, aren't I? Okay, so we've got to figure out which way the front is. I can only assume this is it. So again, we'll pop this seam very carefully. Oh, look at that. 
Okay. So she's nicely packaged up. We've got her arms. A couple of rifles there, or, or pistols I should say. There's one arm. There's the other arm. Oh, the, the detail is pretty good. Oops, sorry. There we are. So I get some proper decent close-up shots uh, for the end of the video. But there she is. Very nice. Looking good. So it's gently placed her over there. Doesn't look like there's been any damage or anything. It's well packaged. I'm assuming this is what's going to light up. This whoosh. And that goes into the back of her uh, backpack. I'll also link the video um, for Tracer's backstory so you can find out why she has the abilities that she has and, and what this backpack is all about. And uh, yeah, you can check that out. So let's get the base out now. And then we'll go on and put it together. Okay, opening the base up now. Ah, nice. So they've, they've provided us with a few batteries. And we've got different connectors. So we want that one. It's the UK. Very nice, very nice. There's a little power adapter. And here is the base. Oh, it's pretty weighty. Oh, and a very nice Overwatch logo right there. Oh, that's smart. There we go. I wonder if they're numbered. They are a limited edition, but I don't think they're limited to a specific amount. So there's no, doesn't look like there's like an edition number on there or anything, um, which is fine. All right, so let's, uh, let's start putting this together. So we'll just get these batteries in first. I don't know if we'll need both, but they provided us with the wall Thing. These aren't rechargeable or anything, so yeah. I guess it's the idea if you want it on only every, every so often, or if you want it on all the time or whatever, then you have that option. So that's that. That seems to be magnetized as well, it doesn't clip in, it just seems to have a, some magnets in the corners hold it in place like so I'm loving this this looks so good solid it's got quite a bit of weight to it so now for this part I think I'll do tracer first so let's get get her out of the plastic packaging we we'll just check out some of the detail on there. Very nicely done. Well, even the goggles are like transparent, so you can actually see right through. So they're on there. Very cool. All these little details. Okay. Let's get our hands on. So I assume. Yep, this will be this hand, and they've got little, the shapes as well, so you can't put them on wrong. Well, it's magnetic as well, that's nice. As soon as I put that there, it kind of pulls it in, so they're not going to fall off randomly. Oh, that just really makes it, doesn't it? Look at that. It really makes a... <laughs> Smart. Okay, so, the next part... Is to put her on here so um, let's get this into position I will start with putting this piece on first and we'll see if we have to maneuver it afterwards so it goes like this foot goes in there and this goes in in there Oops, a bit of a tight fit. There it goes. Trying to be gentle as I can. And there she is. On the Overwatch stand. Shooting right at you. So I'll get some nice close-up shots for you now. 
All right, guys. Awesome. I'm so pleased with my purchase. So pleased. That's gonna look awesome on my desk.